Hey everyone, so I thought I would pop in really quickly because surprisingly enough, I have like a second to myself. So if you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, then you know what my big surprise is. If you remember a few weeks ago, I told you that I had something really huge that was about to happen in my life. I didn't want to divulge at the time what it was, but for most of you now, you know that it is my husband and I have purchased a house and we are extremely excited. Um, I wanted to keep it to myself because as we all know with home buying if you've been through the process before generally it doesn't really go the way that you anticipate it to go. It's, it is a very stressful, um, I don't even know how to describe it, <laughs> it's extremely stressful. Um, we were at, actually we were scheduled to close on July the 17th. Um, and we didn't actually close until the 27th. So it was like craziness. Um, but I just feel incredibly blessed and calm now and, you know, kind of found your dream house or whatever. And you, you're going through that process. It's, it's your, your faith is tested every second of the day. So it was literally, I was living every day as I went. So it was extremely just a uh, happy, painful, stressful, not knowing what's going to happen in the next seconds. And I mean, even after we closed on the 27th, we still ran into stuff. You know, U-Haul, our U-Haul order fell through, so we were not able to get our truck. And we didn't think we were going to be able to move, not this past Saturday, but until Sunday. So I'm still thinking that I'm going to be able to make the Return of the Curls event. Because originally we were supposed to close on the 17th. And we were going to move the 20th. So I'm like, perfect. We do 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 the move that weekend. And the following weekend is Return of the Curls. Boom. I got my, Jane, my July planned out. Uh, no. So that the Saturday after we closed, which was the day of Return of the Curls... I, we were struggling all morning trying to find a truck, which we didn't think we were going to get one until two that day. So I was going to still do the event and then come home, take my stilettos off, take my makeup off and move. Couldn't get the truck at two. We didn't think we were going to be able to move until Sunday. So we ended up finding a moving truck at the last minute. We found a moving truck at, I don't know, something like 10 in the morning or something like that. And I had friends that came over last minute, hustled and bustled to help us. So I couldn't make the event. I could not leave my friends and go to an event. So, and Kenya Kelly and the event coordinators are were so understanding. And I just want to thank them for that. And I apologize to the ladies that wanted to meet me there. But that day was insanity. I mean, and I paid dearly because it was like 90 something degrees. And... I'll put up a picture of my house, but there's a very steep, we sit up very high um, because there's actually a lake. It's, it's lakefront. It's a lakefront um, subdivision. So I can actually, I'm looking out my bedroom window now and I can see a, there's a lake over there. Um, and our particular house sits up on this really high hill, um, which is gorgeous. I love it. But moving, it is, it was the worst experience. Like if we had known the hill with the heat, and we've got very heavy furniture, and it was just ridiculous. Because you can't, you can't, my driveway is so steep, the moving truck would have flipped over. So it was just a, a utter mess, but we're in. Everything's in. It was a safe move. Everybody, you know, moved everything, and they were safe. That was my main concern. I just wanted everybody to be safe. It was such a strenuous move. So, um... Everything is coming along. We've been working tirelessly. I mean, like, morning to night. I can't get to bed before midnight. So what we did was we actually, when I knew we were going to have that closing date, I took that day off to close, which I suggest that to anybody. Please. You close, just take off for the whole day. And the following week. So this week we're both off of work, and we're just trying to piece everything together as much as possible, get the kids um, going tomorrow to get them registered for school. I mean, we're in the same, we were about 30 minutes away from where we lived. 
Um, so this is a completely different county, and um, I love the area. Um, I go to their school tomorrow to get them registered so I get to see their school. And I'm just really, really excited. So soon I'm going to take you guys on a little virtual tour, you know, somewhat. Um, because I've been posting pictures on Instagram and a lot of people are like, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. And it's a lot of changes. So many changes have been made already just from us just kind of putting things together. And, you know, just been working really hard. My thing is I just wanted my kitchen. <laughs> One of my kitchen and my bathrooms up and clean and ready to go. So they are, and the kids' rooms are coming along. They actually had their first night in their own rooms last night. So it's just been exciting. I'm exhausted. My body is like beyond sore. You know, I was telling my friend that came over and helped. I was like, I should have trained for this, like a triathlon or something. So my body is extremely sore. I'm excited. I'm exhausted. I'm very happy I took the entire week off so we can kind of pace ourselves throughout the week to get the house together. The kids, we didn't tell the kids um, about the home buying just because it is such an unpredictable type thing. I didn't want to tell them and then something happened. And also I didn't want to tell them because they would have worried us to death. So... <laughs> So we actually brought them over. A lot of people, you know, wanted to, a lot of people couldn't believe, and even my lender could not believe that the kids didn't know. They just thought it was amazing that the kids didn't know about the move. So we managed to hold the secret off, even though we had boxes everywhere in the old house. Uh, we managed to hold the secret off. So we took them to the closing. They were in another room. So again, they didn't know anything that was going on. Uh, my husband and I had already bought them housewarming gifts uh they wanted it was a new um batman 2 lego wii game they wanted uh, maddie has been flying through the wimpy kid book series so i've got her the third one and got jade in the book and you know just got them a few you know little housewarming gifts to put you know in their rooms and um in the they keep calling it the playroom but it's the entertainment room but their Wii game is back there in the entertainment room. So we got them the new game and put the little bag in there. So we pull up to the house and the kids are with us. And my husband and I come in, put their gifts in their spots. Um, and then we bring them in. So when they're coming in, they're looking around like, these people don't have any furniture. Like they thought we was at a front house or something. So they're looking like, these people don't have no furniture, don't have no nothing. Uh, so we bring them in and my husband talks to them at the door and he's like, so you know what a, ho what a housewarming gift, gift is? And they're, you know, they're like, yeah, not really. So he explains to them that people give people housewarming gifts when they move into their new home. So he said, I'm giving the both of you a housewarming gift. And so they were just like, my daughter was looking like, what? I don't housewarming gift so he was like do you what I'm trying to tell you is that you're getting the housewarming gift and you're standing in your new home and they it was like the it was exactly how we wanted the reaction to be they were so excited um because this house is crazy bigger than our last home so you know, and then it didn't have any furniture in it yet, so they were just flipping and flopping. And still, my son, he won't walk. He just flips and flops and runs everywhere in the house um, instead of walking. But they were just so excited. So they went up to their rooms, and we'd already kind of picked their rooms out, only because the shapes of the rooms, just their furniture, it just worked with their furniture in those particular rooms. So we had their bags already on the floor, and they flipping through their bags and they see their gifts and then they see the entertainment room and they go in there and they're ripping through that bag and they see their Wii game and their reaction was everything. We wanted it to be like the Disney, you know, and then when they surprise and the kids are going to Disney, that's how the reaction was and that's, that's what we got. So we were extremely excited about that and they're in love. Their rooms are coming together. Maddie, wants the zebra rock star hot pink room so we're working on that Jaden is okay with his star wars room he had in the last house so we're kind of working on that to get everything up but it is exciting um it's just it's truly a blessing this 
this is God. This is that, you know, this, this is God given, you know what I'm saying? I don't, um, you know, I, I, I'll start talking about it and then I start happy crying and because it's just, it's such a blessing, especially in this economy. My husband and I, we've gone through layoffs in the past. We, gone through downsizing we've gone through this and through that and I really think that we found I mean I have never been I'm so happy I've never been happier you know what I'm saying it's like those though it's like those moments in life you know those moments that are just everything you know my wedding the birth of my children you know this home is just, it's one of those moments. And so I'm just glad that we took the week off and we're just soaking it all in. And, you know, we have to make each other go to bed at night because we'll just keep, you know, we'll keep doing stuff. Um, and we're sore and we're tired, but the adrenaline and the excitement keeps us, you know, constantly going. So I'm rambling and I didn't want to make this too long and get all sappy and stuff like that. But I, I say all this to say that whatever... It is that you're dreaming of, you're aspiring about. Just keep in prayer. I will pray for you. I have people praying for me. If you follow me, there are some days on Facebook, I just, you know, I'm, I'm on there venting because I just felt myself collapse. I just did not think I would be able to withstand this process. It, it is daunting. It is, um, I know for one week at work, I spent crying, you know, because nobody tells you about, you know, you look for the home, you put your offering, your offer's accepted. You know, all these shows stop there. You know, when you're watching HGTV and stuff, all of them stop there. You you bought a house, your offer was accepted. Nobody's telling you about the, 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 I don't even know the word to use. It's just the whole financing process, it really did a number on me. Um, I know I spent one week at work just crying every day. I mean, because it's, you think you've given them all the information that they need and they need to know where this money traces back to or from these tax records from this year or that year. Um, so please, if you are in the next few years going to be purchasing a house or anything like that, please make sure that you keep all your paperwork, put it in a way in a safe just have that stuff together. If you can, scan it into your computer. That way, when you're working with the lender, they can you can just email it to them, which is what I did a lot of my stuff. It's just she asked me for it, and I said, boom, there's that document. There's that document. Um, but again, I go back to say, because I'm rambling, whatever it is that you're aspiring for, please don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Um, and please don't get it discouraged. You have got to just pray and trust God and just... You got to give it to him. You got to give it to him because there's no way that man, not me, you know, human can withstand some of the pressure that goes along with, uh, you know, making a change like this or going through that process. Um, but it's just, you know, God is God. I mean, and he will make things happen when everybody else says it's not possible. It's definitely possible. So I'll wrap this up, <laughs> just give me just a couple of weeks just to get together and just kind of enjoy this is, you know, I just, you know, it's just, it's, it's family time almost, you know, that's the only way I can really think of it. It's just, I just, we're soaking all this in, you know, so just give me time to soak, soak everything. And then, um, I will be back with some good videos and some different stuff. Braids are holding in good. Thank goodness I had them because Lord have mercy. I didn't have time for no hair through this process. I didn't have time for anything. Stress will take your life over. So, and it's good because through the move and everything, my hair has been concealed and put away. So I just wanted to come to you and tell you where I've been, what the surprise was, and I will talk to you ladies later. I love you all and thank you so much. Some of you have been praying for me and you don't even know what you've been praying for. Well, here it is. So I will be taking you guys on a virtual tour very soon. So love you all. Thank you for your prayers and your well wishes. And I will be talking to you all soon. Bye. Come on. Do you, I'm asking, do you know what a housewoman gift is? Yes. What do you think a housewoman gift is for?
people give gifts for housewarming. So why do you think they do that? Mm. Take the gifts. Gifts too? Huh? Why do you think they do that? To be nice. Yeah, but why? Uh, well, let me tell you. Usually, people give housewarming gifts when people buy a new house. Okay. So we're gonna get one. You guys are getting housewarming gifts. You know why? Why? You know what? Why? Why do you think? Because we're going to a new house. Yeah. Where do you think our new house is? Right here. Right here. Yes, it is. Hello. This guy's new house. This is y'all new house. Y'all want to go upstairs and find your room? Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is a surprise. This is a surprise. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Is this my room? You go up this room. You go up. This is my room. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> mine. Hold on, hold on. Let's bring it in. Wait. <laughs> okay. One more room I want to show y'all. What room you want to? What room you think you're gonna see now? Your room. No. 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 <laughs> what do you see my room? At all. <laughs> what you think is gonna go in this room? Uh, huh? What you think? Bathroom. No. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.